hi friends so in this tutorial I will explain you how we can create a side folder in Adobe Dreamweaver CC 2015 and how we can start bootstrap in Adobe Dreamweaver CC 2015 so first of all open Dreamweaver and create a folder at desktop like uh, bootstrap okay now open Dreamweaver and you can see here in menu bar there is an option site so open this and click on new site now here you can see few options like the first option is site so site setup for unnamed site 2 a Dreamweaver site is a collection of all of the files and assets you use in your website a Dreamweaver site usually has two parts a local folder on your computer where you store and work on files and a remote folder on a server where you post the same files to the web so first of all you can define a folder in your computer then when you complete your website then you can publish in remote server okay so here you will select the local folder and a name for your dream dreamweaver site so the full uh, site name is like bootstrap template and in this way you can select local site folder so click here <clears throat> you can see in desktop bootstrap folder is here so you can select the folder don't open the folder just select the folder and click on select folder now you can save so means to say whatever which files we will create here in this folder then we can publish in remote server okay so you can click on file and click new now here you can see few options like in new document you can see we can start with these document types like HTML CSS less SAS and JavaScript and PHP and lot of other document types or we can start with starter templates like you can see here bootstrap templates bootstrap agency e-commerce portfolio product bootstrap real estate bootstrap resume or responsive starters or site templates also we can see here so we will start through new document and in HTML you can see here like if I will not select bootstrap then I can start with normal HTML file or we can select any other option but if you select bootstrap then you can start with bootstrap structure so here you can see like we will create a new bootstrap CSS file or we can also use existing CSS file and here you can see we can include a pre-built layout because we are creating a template from sex from scratch therefore I will disable this option okay and then select click on create okay now you can see Dreamweaver will automatically attach some files when you will save this uh, from file and save as and save this file as index dreamweaver will save this file as index.html now you can see dreamweaver will automatically attach or link this bootstrap css file and jquery file and bootstrap.js file now if you will open this folder you can see here CSS folder where we can see bootstrap.css file and in fonts folder we can see all fonts and in JS folder we can see bootstrap.js and jqd-1.11.2.2.min.html and in fonts folder we can see bootstrap.js okay and this file which I saved as index.html now you can see this is the interface of Dreamweaver okay 
if you want to preview your website or template in browser you can click here and here you can see preview in Mozilla Firefox preview in Google Chrome preview in Internet Explorer if you have any other browser like Opera or Safari so you will find those browsers also in this list okay so you can see here my primary browser is Google Chrome so I can preview in Google Chrome <coughs> So right now you can see the template or website is blank so here I will change the title like bootstrap template okay now save this file just press ctrl plus s and then refresh this file refresh this you can see here bootstrap template okay so this was the first tutorial and in this tutorial you have learned how we can define a side folder and how we can start with bootstrap structure in Adobe Dreamweaver CC 2015. Thank you.